Now, creating music in GarageBand is super awesome, but what if you wanted to share your GarageBand projects and collaborate with another user in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad? Well, in this GarageBand for iOS quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And in this video, we're doing creating, but with a little bit of a twist, we're gonna create with another user. Now, just to demonstrate this, what I'm gonna do is I've got a new track here in GarageBand. I'm just gonna leave it in my default eight bars, and I'm in the keyboard here. And what I'm gonna do is record eight bars of piano, and then I'm gonna send this using iCloud sharing over to my friend Mark. He's gonna then lay down something <laughs> we'll have to find out what it is some drums some bass some guitar we don't know and then send that back and just so that we can show you how we can quickly collaborate with other users here in GarageBand so let's hit the record button and I'll record eight bars of piano Okay, so uh, I hit the wrong chord at the end there. Uh, playing on your phone is fun, but you can make a few mistakes. But let's just do a little quick edit on this so that we can get the chord right at least. So it was this last one here that we hit. So we wanted that to match up. And for good measure, let's just edit a bass note here. There we go. There you go, a little quick editing lesson while we uh, are going here. Now, I actually kind of wanted that, that piano to be lower down. So let's just do some quick editing here. I wasn't gonna do this in this video because it's not really the point. Uh, but let's just transpose this down one octave and we'll quantize it with some swing, some 1 16th light swing, just so that it's gonna hit the beats a little bit better. If that means nothing to you, check out my uh, GarageBand Quick Jam videos where I talk all about pianos, keyboards, quantizing, and all the rest, they'll all be linked down below. Let's just play this back now and see how it sounds. Okay, so I'm, uh, I'm not hitting the, <laughs> the notes at the right velocities there. We're not gonna bother tidying it up much more because this is just a bit of a test. So let us now jump out of here. We're gonna go back into my songs and then here it is, my song number three. Now we're gonna rename this by just tapping on the name there and let's rename this one to uh, Collab Test. And we'll do V1 on here just so that we know what we're going, what we've got going on there. Now, what is it doing now? Well, it's waiting to upload. So it needs to actually upload this song to iCloud. And once it's uploaded, so once that little dotted cloud around there turns into, well, no cloud at all until it looks like one of the other ones that we have here, like this one here, then it's not gonna be ready to share. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this upload here in the background, and then I'll come back once it's uploaded this new track, and I'll show you how we can share. Okay, so here we are. You can see that it is now updated, this collab test V1. If we go in there, we'll just play back and yes. This is our amazing piano bass for this song. We'll go back to my songs here and what it'll do, it'll say, oh, you made some changes, even though I just played the track. It'll go and check and upload. And now that it's in the cloud, that's important because to share, what we need to do is have our song in the iCloud Drive. So you can see over here on the left, we're in iCloud Drive. If we're on my iPhone, we can't share because the song has to be uploaded to the cloud so that I can share it with another user. Okay, let's go ahead and share now. I'm gonna tap select and I'm gonna tap on Collab Test V1. And the bottom left here, I'm gonna tap on the share button. Now I wanna share the entire project. So I'm gonna tap on project. And now here is my normal sharing options. But if we scroll down, you can see that we have this option, add people. And this is our collaboration option. So I'm gonna tap on add people. And here we go, it's invite people to collaborate with you. Everyone will see the latest changes. So we can send an invitation here to someone via a message, via mail, Gmail, Facebook, 
Twitter, I guess, uh, Messenger, however we like to do so here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on mail because I'm going to actually send an email invitation to Mark so that he can then click on this and go in and start editing this particular project. So let's tap on mail. Okay, so here we are. I won't show you Mark or my email address here, but I'm just going to be able to type an email. I'm gonna say, hi Mark, and then we can go as discussed. Here is my track to share. And then we can just hit send because you can see down here, so I'll just show you this, we've got the link there to the document. So we can send this now and Mark is going to get a copy of this and be able to open it from iCloud and it will allow him to then edit this track and save his changes. Let's hit send now. And there we go. So collab test V1 has now been sent via email to Mark. He'll grab that email and then he'll be able to go in and on his version of GarageBand iOS, he can start making changes. You can see there that it now says shared by me. So we can actually see that this has been shared. So while it sits here on my iCloud and I need to make sure it stays in my iCloud drive, then any changes that Mark makes at his end will change here. Now some things to keep in mind, you do need to be using the same version of GarageBand iOS. So if someone's on an older version, if they're on an older hardware, older iPad or iPhone, they won't be able to collaborate directly using this method. But if they're using GarageBand 2.3, uh, as I know Mark is, then he'll be able to come in and update this track. So now I'm going to go away and wait for Mark to update this and we'll come back once he has made a change to this track. Okay, so we are back here and as you can see, I'm actually, I'm downloading another track at the moment. Let's just stop that one. And here we go. So collab test number one, shared by me, has now returned here to my iCloud drive. So what we should find in here is a new track added by Mark. So let's open up this track now. And here we go. We have the Mark bass is happening. So let's hit play. <laughs> There you go. So we now have a collaboration song happening here. We've got two tracks now. This is a piano track that I added in, a bass track that Mark has added in here, and we are now ready to go. So there you go. That has now been shared. And what I can now do is I can add a new track to this. I can share this with other people. They can add more tracks. And as long as this remains on iCloud Drive, it is going to be available for other people to add tracks to, which I think is super cool. So I hope you found this interesting. I hope you can collaborate with some other users here in GarageBand iOS. There you go. How cool is collaborating here in GarageBand iOS? A big thank you to the GarageBand users Facebook group. Mark, who helped me with this test, and also Mark, Rick, and Daniel, a different Mark, uh, who also provided some great assistance and have been testing some of these collaboration features. So thank you again. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below, and I'll see you on the next video. There you go, how cool was that? Collaborating here in GarageBand iOS. If you would like to watch some more videos, click on two of the links down below. Click on the Studio Live Today icon to subscribe or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.